Okay, so before I start this video, I'd like to apologize for my voice because I have a cold. And I'd also like to apologize for any weird or unusual subtitles that may occur in this video. Okay, so the first question is, what is prohibition? Prohibition is the banning or making a substance illegal in a certain place. The second question is, what is the 18th Amendment? The 18th Amendment is the amendment that states that all distribution and making of alcohol in the United States is illegal. Not necessarily saying that drinking it is illegal. Okay, so the third question is, what were some issues at this time in society? Well, to start off with, there were many birth defects in children when they were first born. And another issue is that there were very low employment rates. And crime rates were also through the roof. Okay, so <clears throat> the fourth question is that based on the previous issues listed above, why did the people believe that prohibition would solve them? Well, you have to know that all the issues of that time period were blamed on alcohol. For an example, um, unemployment was blamed on alcohol because <clears throat> people would show up drunk to work and they would lose their jobs. So the people believed that if they cut the source of the problem, which was alcohol, they would not have the problem anymore. Okay, so the fifth question is, how, what did tem temperance advocates do to persuade the public and support their point? So the temperance advocates used scientific evidence, well, at that time, scientific evidence to support their claim that alcoholism caused many of the problems in society. And once the people saw that the scientific evidence backed up the claim that alcohol was bad, they decided to go dry and go along with what the temperance advocates said. I personally do not find many of the temperance advocates' arguments very convincing because the scientific evidence back in that time period wasn't really as advanced as we have it now. So I do not really trust their evidence as much as I would if something like that would come out today. But I do overall kind of support what they're believing because alcohol is today still somewhat proven to have caused some of those things. Okay, so the fifth, I mean the sixth question is stating, why do you think that the document B that was listed in the Go Formative um, targeted immigrants? And I believe that it targeted immigrants because they were coming in in a lot at a time into the country. And because they were foreigners, the people wanted an excuse for why alcohol was there, so they blamed it on the new people. And because, I guess, supposedly crime rates had been higher in immigrants, there was also a correlation between that as well. But I also believe they were blamed on the immigrants because of the fact that they were sort of in a way defenseless and the people needed someone to do 